Trinity Bear Scammon here at the Eugene Science Center and what I've got for you today is a very interesting material but before I take it out and show you I've got to make sure that I've got proper safety protocol going here. So I'm going to be putting on some safety gloves and I'm going to be putting on my safety goggles and that's because uh, the material I'm going to be working with uh, is not particularly sharp and it's not particularly hot. Uh, in fact it's quite the opposite of that. It's incredibly cold. And it's so cold, in fact, that if I were to touch it to my unprotected skin for about 10 seconds, I would have very serious frostbite and would need to go to the hospital. So, but with my protective gloves, I should be just fine. Uh, this special material that I'm bringing out is called dry ice. Now, dry ice is so cold that it is 140 degrees colder than normal ice Fahrenheit. Um, and it is made out of this out of the gas carbon dioxide. And what we've done with the carbon dioxide is we've chilled it down and we put it under immense pressure until it went solid. Now you'll notice that it's giving off this wonderful uh, smoke. It may be hard to see from that side of the camera, but uh, this smoke is actually a combination of that carbon dioxide, which is turning back into a gas from a solid phase and mixing with the water vapor in the air, uh, making this wonderful fog. Um, now, when a solid material goes directly from its solid state into its gaseous state, and it doesn't go into a water state, a liquid state at all, uh, we call that process sublimation. So in a little bit, you're gonna see something that looks like it's boiling, but uh, boiling is actually not at all what's going on. Um, because uh, this process requires both carbon dioxide to steal the heat from the surrounding air so it can turn back into a gas, uh, and that water vapor that's around it to make it that wonderful fog that we see. Now inside of this container that I have right here is just some warm water. So it's going to be warm, it's going to have lots of heat to give this dry ice to turn back into its gaseous form and it's gonna have lots of that water. So that water vapor is going to be all around making this wonderful fog. So as I drop it in, you might see a change. Oh, look at that. So all of that wonderful fog is that combination of that carbon dioxide gas and that water vapor that's coming from this warm water we've got right here. Now, if I blow over the top, you might see a, a wonderful little effect there. So, uh, and once again, I, you know, it really looks like it's boiling, doesn't it? But what's happening here is the dry ice is stealing that heat from that water around it and turning back into that gas and it's skipping that liquid phase. So we're not calling it boiling off, we're calling it sublimating. Now, uh, if I put the cap back on my little device here, you'll notice that all of that fog is gonna be rerouted through my little wand here. And that's wonderful and it's not going to be harmful and in fact when it's in this fog phase it is not dangerous in the slightest with one exception carbon dioxide is a gas that's not breathable by humans so if i were to stick this in my mouth and try and breathe i probably wouldn't be doing so great so but with the fog so long as i'm not breathing it all in all at once i'll be just fine so I'm, I've got a small cup here full of my bubble solution. And you'll see that there's something very interesting that happens uh, when we combine our little fog with our bubble solution. You'll notice we've got these wonderful dry ice bubbles. Now, if we pop it, we have that wonderful effect. So, oh, and one more. Now, dry ice bubbles are incredibly finicky, and they don't like being on human hands. But if I get my own hand nice and soapy, I can convince those dry ice bubbles to stay a little while. <laughs> 